about Carrizo. Forgive me for being late, but the road is very steep. Well? Use of our gun as you wanted. The man from Athens. I have some. I have some. He is in Syracuse. We knew that. But I found out about a meeting where he is to speak tonight, my lord. Where? That I don't know. If I question too closely, but they are already suspicious. Alert our patrols. We'll get him tonight. It's not the risk, Excellency. But if they suspect me too much, I'm of no use to you. Keep it, my lord. Keep it. If you're not satisfied, I am a friend, Excellency. A friend needs no reward. Kill him! No! 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 <laughs> He had his uses, sir. When the slave can call his master friend, this day our world is ended. <laughs> huh, huh, huh? Huh? Come on, come on. Oh. Let's go.
I know. This is no atmosphere to learn or teach philosophy. I'm sorry. The very fact that I'm speaking to you puts every living man in danger. And there you must sit. Look at you. Packed tight with your elbows in each other's ribs. And one ear cocked listening for the next patrol. Bear with me. Coming from the freedom of Athens, I must seem to you to talk a language out of key with the troubles of your time. Perhaps what I can tell you just because I've taught in an atmosphere of freedom, may help you to a vision of a world you can make here in Syracuse for your children and your children's children. Keep half your mind. I can negotiate from here. A gold piece will do. All right. Throw. Where's the meeting? Where's the reward? You have to go to the temple of the old god, round under the city wall. I know it. We've seen your face. You'd better be right. When you are teaching your students, or you guards your fellow soldiers, remember always that our very first principle is the unity of all nature. We are all one with all life. Even your enemy is your brother. More, he is a part of you. If you kill him, you yourself die a little. Just a moment. Just a moment. Information yourself. What's it worth? Give it, and we'll tell you. Oh, no. Tell it, and I'll give it. The guards. The guards know of this meeting and that you're here. Get out! Hurry! How do they know? The guards. I told them. Come on, come on! Protheus has passed on. I tell you now, his last wish, that we waste no time in tears, go on with our work. Without him, that won't be easy. Who is to take his place? We'll see later. Pythias, what do you say? We need a decision, now. He's right. Let's have we it. will decide. Be patient. Protheus just died. Surely we can wait and think. Always wait. Always think. Protheus has been dying a long time. Surely you've given thought to his successor. We are giving consideration to Arcanos the missionary, a man of wisdom. Then let's send for Arcanos. Bring him back from Syracuse. We sent him messages before. He never received them. All our beliefs. Our whole movement depends on a great leader. Let us send a man of courage to find Arcanos and bring him back now. More than a man of courage, he must have convictions. Very well, then. Let us find him, a young man able to stand hardships. There are many among us. No, Pythias. Only one. Will you come up here?
You fully realize the peril of this mission? I do. Then repeat after me. I, Pythias of Athens. There now. Does that make me look matronly enough? Dignified? Responsible? <laughs> Dreadfully. Mother of six? Well, hardly. You haven't the first one yet. Oh, Mireka. Is it rather terrible? I shall be a real matron. I shall be beginning to get old. Do you think it will change me for Pythias? He likes me young and not too solemn. He must see I'm not going to become dowdy and boring. Come, look at me. It's because he's such a serious old thing himself that he likes me. Silly? <laughs> well, a man as clever as Pythias for the sister as clever as you can afford silly wife. But anyhow, I'm not. I have enormous hidden depths. They don't stick <laughs> out. <laughs> That's don't, idiot. Oh, Mereka. I do love him so. Pythias. The beloved step, the sacred voice. What do you bet? It's the gardener arguing with the cook about how fresh the vegetables were yesterday. Pythias. What did I tell you? The gardener and the cook. And I am in love with the gardener. Wrong. Wrong? You're cool. Really? You might as well have been the gardener. Demetrius, greetings, my brother. Darling, uh, I've got to tell you something. Something's happened. Let's let's sit down. Proteus is dead. Oh, poor old man. I liked him. He was kind. He was more than that. He was a great leader. Now, there's only one man that can take his place, and that's Arcanus. And Arcanus is in Syracuse. He's working in secret because our philosophy is forbidden there. We teach the Brotherhood of Man, and, and their tyrant Dionysius teaches war. Now... Sweetheart, not politics, not today. I do try to take an interest, but it was only this morning that the midwife said we could be sure about the baby, remember? No politics today, Pythias. Darling, please, you, you must listen. This is very important. Of course. It's more important than us, than me and my baby. No. You can't have it both ways, Pythias. Women have no minds, no capacity for your philosophies. We have no place at the feet of your teachers or in what ideas you spread in the world. All right, but then don't expect us to take an intelligent interest when you bring the important nonsense of your great schools home to where we live and love and bear your children. Come on, Mereka. Leave them to their philosophy. You'll learn how it is. You'll have to put up with a lot of this in the next few months. You've got to tell her you're going to Syracuse to find Arcanus. You've got to. I can't tell her. She won't understand. She, she'll plead with me to stay and get all upset. Demetrius, you'll have to tell her for me. They sent him to certain danger. And you knew. You let him go. You, Demetrius, my own brother. You, for your game of politics. You let them send my husband, and you didn't raise a hand to stop them. Did you? Did you? There was nothing he could do. And you? Are you woman at all? His sister. And did you try to stop him or to warn me? I pray that your husband leaves you as you've taken mine from me. All right. Take your grief out on me. Oh, heavens. He didn't even tell me. That's what hurts. He didn't love me enough even to tell me. I want to die.
haven't traded before, have we? No. I have a piece here that got broken on the voyage. It's a fairly common shape. Get in touch with Arcanus. Shh. For pity's sake. This is Syracuse. You can't meet him. Him of all people. Go back. Proteus is dead. I've been sent to bring Arcanus back to replace him. Uh, he's disappeared. In hiding. Arcanus is a man we can't lose. Now, who else would know where he is? I can't help you. Here. To show that you've traded if they search you. Go back on the ship that brought you here. Go back. Go back. The arrangements were that I was to stay here. But I have no idea of where even to start. All to the good. Go. Go. It's a lot for one man to carry, sir. May I help you? Well, I can assure you it's no trouble at all. Come here. What are you manage? Uh, thank you, no. This I can manage myself. Well, where to, sir? Fact is, uh, I have no idea. Uh, is there an inn around here? Well, there's one, but, uh... Not a place where such a merchant as you would stay. Well, for the moment, it'll have to do. Oh, it's not far. Round the corner by the gate. Oh, thank you. Have a long journey? Yes. From Athens? Uh, yes, Athens. Say, do you, uh, uh, are you sure this is the right way? Yes. This is the short way. Want me now. The way out, the guards are coming. Oh? Well, come on, they'll be here in a minute.
Duck in there. Workmanship isn't bad, but uh, I've told him better. And with less effort. Well, we thieves don't live as easy as you honest folk. with the guards after him and find difficulty contacting his friends. Now, I come and go where I like in Syracuse. Pythagorean from Athens. Arcanos. Arcanos? That's it, isn't it? Well, you'll have difficulty contacting him. He's been in hiding for months. Now, what's my help worth? Nothing but trouble, I expect. Well, I'll just keep these pieces in pen for what I've already done. I'll tell you what, you can have the weight of them and any other piece in the bag. These are the only pieces I like. Listen, when I contact my friends, I'll have access to all the money I need. If you help me, I'll give you half the contents of that bag.
You come too suddenly, and at night, you will find yourself with a knife in your guts. Like anyone else would. Who's that? Pythias, merchant of Athens. Meet Adriana. She's mad about me. Merchants are wriggling on their bellies like lizards along parapets nowadays. Well, it's a sign of the times. If they come from Athens and the Pythagoreans, they do. Oh, don't worry. Adriana has no love for Dionysius. Both her parents were killed in one of his wars. She'll be no danger to you. With the guards after us, we're liable to be a danger to her. Knowing Damon, it's a danger I'm used to. You can sleep here, and I can feed you. I have, uh, I should say we have some silver. You could sell some for us. What do you say to letting uh, Adriana hold the silver? Adriana, take that and hide it. What are you paying Damon for? His uh, help. Why? Because I have to. <laughs> Listen, Adriana. The Pythagoreans consider that all men are brothers. So, that makes you his sister. And that's all right with me. But what help? Find Arcanos. No, Damon, no. Stay out of this. You don't understand. Carissa has all the guys in Syracuse after that man. You keep your silver. Damon. Damon, please stay out of this. Come. It's getting late. We'll take this, and we'll hide it under the bed. Let's make a pillow out of this. And if the lumps bother you, just remember the value of fine Athenian silverware. <laughs> oh, come on in. Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> uh, may I? Please. Brothers and sisters, eh? Oh, by tomorrow at dusk, I'll have collected a few friends that know a thing or two. Pythagoreans? No, no. Friends of mine. It's nice to be among honest villains again, after the company I've been keeping. Now, there's money in it. <laughs> Albert risks. I want to find Arcanus. Chloe, you know something? What do you want him for? I just told you, money. They're a harmless lot. No, not to sell him to the guards. I want to get a message to him from Athens. Man I know hit a Pythagorean after the raid on Malin the Carpenter. Who? Oh. Chromos, the schoolmaster. Chromos left Syracuse yesterday. Any other leads? All right, interpret that, please. Folks go to Libya, the silversmith, but don't buy silver. 
No good. Arrested this afternoon, anyhow. Did he howl? All right, now start looking. An ounce weight of pure silver for a lead that gets us anywhere. But leave the taverns. Play in the streets. Get the children to dancing, and when they ask for tunes, get them to talking. Find out who has a stranger in his home. Now go to it, all of you. Any news? You give it to the barber on Long Street. <laughs> dry suddenly. Guilty conscience. You're bad for business. Excellent. You know Damon? Who doesn't? Tell him Philemon, Street of the Cranes. Philemon, Street of the Cranes. Really, very interesting. Keep your head down till after dark. Water. It's an oven up here by day. I want to see you alone. Please, leave Damon out of this affair. You love him, don't you? No, I'm not such a fool. He's impossible. But in his way, he can be a friend. Well, for your own sake, then. He's rash. He'll get you into worse danger. He's coming. I must get back to the market. Please. Where are you going? I must rush. I must get back to my work. Well, I found out where some of your friends will be staying tonight. Good. I'll leave you at dusk. I'll give you half the silver now, the other half when I find Arcanos. Oh, no. We go together. All I need is a lead. You need a keeper with your views on no bloodshed and going around unarmed in this town. You care? Yes. For my money. Tell me something. What do you get out of this? Is this Arcanos a rich man or something? No, as a matter of fact, like most teachers, he's a poor one. Except in spirit. Powerful. Not at least in the way you mean. Well, he's not rich or powerful. Love. He's got a wife, huh? A daughter, a sister? Neither one. In fact, I have a wife of my own. Well, then what has he got that you want? Importance to the cause we both serve. Importance to the... All right. We'll risk accepting what you say. Give us your message for Arcanos. I must see him myself. I must talk to him. Other messengers have come before me and, and failed. I feel sure of you, but yet, if you're from Carrizo, very well, I've betrayed myself. But we cannot betray Arcanos. If I were from Carrizo, would I know the sacred teachings of Pythagoras? Come, ask me. What is the world in which we live? It's a sphere. It's round, like the sun and the moon. The Tutatkis, by which we swear. The progression of numbers. I've always used them just for reading. What music did Pythagoras compose? It was found that a tuned string, clapped at half its length, will sound an octave. At three quarters, a fourth, and a two-thirds, a fifth. Showing that everything has its place as a number in the whole. And the whole is harmony. He's one of us. All right. It 
It's a little complicated to explain where Arcanus is. You take the Listen, road to... Listen, just leave the finding of the way to me. There isn't a man living that knows Syracuse better than I do. Just tell me where he is, I'll find him. Just a moment, Philemon. We don't know your friend. You don't propose to say that you do? How can I? You're not one of us. All right. Whisper your secrets into their shell-like ears. I'll come in with the wine. Listen, stop that racket, will you? Much promise. Lots of money. Huh. And we end up with a few drops of wine. message for you. Interested? From high up. Way up. Interested? No. Pity. Nice profession, mine. Telling fortunes, selling love potions. Get to know all sorts of noblemen like you. And scum like officers of the guards wanting to meet scum like you. Carissa wants to meet scum like you. <laughs> funny. A funny thing. Carissa wants to meet me. Carissa arrests me. Not if he wants to meet you socially, he doesn't. out of trouble since you were big enough to run about the streets alone. And I offer you immunity. Living on your wits. And I offer you security. A marked man. And I offer you your freedom. Well, you offer me how much? 20 gold pieces. You need me, sir. Even Dionysus' first minister, when in need, needs to pay. For instance, you'll have to pay me with that. With what? Hey, see what it is. The best of your stable, sir, is yours. Now, I want Arcanus. Where is he? Well, Your Excellency, this will need a little secrecy. Agreed. Only one man can lead you to Arcanus. Well, name him. His name is Pythias. Who? Pythias. Well, he's an Athenian. He's tall. Not quite as good looking as I am. I see. You know him. Yes, we're friends of sorts. We were friends. Stay his friend. It'll be useful. Well, I hear my new friend calling, so with your excellency's permission.
I see you're still here. I was going to leave you a message. I'm staying elsewhere. Oh, don't. Listen, you riled me. You know a fellow likes to be trusted once in a while. But I started with you on this, and I'm going to see you through. That's all right. I was going to leave this with Adriana for you. Here. To pay for all you've done. And thanks. Oh, no. I haven't gotten you to Arcanos yet. I thought I heard you. It's all right. He's leaving. But, Damon, what is this about a horse? What horse? The barber told me that Focus had seen you riding outside the gate. Oh, well, it's not mine. The fellow let me ride him. What a horse! He's got grace and he's full of fire. You know he gives a man dignity? I think I'll call him... What? Well, he already has a name. Focus said it had the guard's brand on it. Since when have you had a friend in the guards? Well, of course it had the guard's brand on it. It's a guard's horse. I, uh, I was at the palace last night. They picked me up. Someone recognized me. Damon! It didn't mean anything. I was only there a minute. Someone must have given him my name. Where are you questioned? Now, look, they know me. A Pythagorean me? No, many things, but not that. And the man who knew your name and had you arrested didn't know you. You know the kind always trying for promotion? The other guards, they just laughed at him. And so they gave you a fine horse to ride to console you for false arrest. I don't think you understand what I've been saying. No. Not at the palace. Like Adriana said, out beyond the gate, this other guard, he was thrown. I came if along. If I were you, I'd call that horse Cariso. What do you mean? I mean you sold me. You came back here to get into my confidence, to lead them through me to Arcanos. Well, that's ridiculous. No, no, no! We, we don't kill. You would have killed him, wouldn't you? Yes, I would. How is she? No better. The doctor said this morning that she could get better, but she doesn't want to live. Pythias must come home. He won't till his mission is ended. You must go to Syracuse, Dimitrios, and tell him he must. But, Mareka. No but. You go or your sister will die, and you bring back Pythias. Arcanos or no Arcanos or... You can tell him his wife will die. Nerissa, here's Dimitrios. And he has news for you. I'm going to Syracuse, Nerissa. I'm going to find Pythias and bring him back to you. He won't come. He loves you. He'll come. Promise me, Marissa. You'll do all the doctor says till I come back. Promise me. Just till then. That you got on, huh? Leave him alone. He's taking a philosophy and it's spoiling his liver. <laughs> his Greek friend turned out not to have anything else to offer. <laughs> Here, it's money. Yeah? Money. That's all you think a man is worth. I'd save some, Damon. If that came from your Greek, that's the last you'll see. He's left Syracuse. What do you mean? By the Catania Gate, an hour ago. 
What's the matter? Oh, Jamar? Well, that's a great point. Are you hurt? No. A pack of jackals. For what they are worth, they are the only friends you've got. Yes. But I could have had one that was really worth something. First time in my life, a man. A man you really could think something of. He wasn't your sort. Ask me, and I don't think he's even human. He made me angry. And I went and proved him even righter. Forget it. He's gone now anyway. Yes, it's too late. Damon, Damon. Be Damon again. Today's today. Remember? It's today we are alive. Getting your money's work? No. We're on the trail of your Athenian. Seen slipping out last night. Where's he heading? Scouts ahead are keeping him marked. You're lathering up that horse of yours. Yes, I'd better walk him. Good luck.
What do you want? Um, I'm looking for a stranger. Uh, Matt Pythias. Matt. Arcanos. Thank the gods. In heaven's name, what are you doing here? Looking for you. You're desperately needed. I've been sent from Athens to bring you home. I can't go. But tell me. Now, don't you be difficult with... I hate to abandon the work that we started here. I'll tell you one man will be happy when you do. Carrizo. But uh, we've got to make it toward the coast as fast as we can. I've made arrangements hey. for a fishing boat. trail ever since Syracuse. It's a lie, Arcanus. No, Pythias, it's not a trap. I cut that bridge down back there. It'll slow them down, but it won't keep them away forever. Don't you believe me? They're tightening a noose around your neck. But... All right, look up there! Come on, quick. You take the car. Shepard. We're leaving. I would like to sleep. We can't wait till morning. We're safe enough here. Carrizo will have to wait for light two. You two sleep. I'll stand guard. You get some sleep. Why don't you get out of here while you can? And miss all the fun? You don't belong in my troubles. Well, I enjoy troubles, especially when they're someone else's. But seriously, Damon, I, I want to thank you for what you did today. I feel a gratitude. Even though I betrayed you to Caruso, huh? Why did you do that? For a horse. For a marvelous horse. That's the way I am, and that's the way I always will be. You know why? Because ever since I was five years old, I had to fight for every piece of bread I ever ate. I never lived in a nice home, had a family like you. To me, every man's an enemy. That's why. And to me, every man's a friend. Tell me, Damon, why are you helping me now? Why do you always ask such difficult questions? I don't know. It's something I never felt before. Go to sleep. All right. We'll split the watch. I'll be back later. Vivius. Yes? Has your son been born yet? 
No, he hasn't. You thought of a name for him? Not yet. Well, if you can't think of a better one, call the Brad Damon, will you? I will. In your clothes. If Carrizo sees me, I'll try to lead him off. Damon, you know the way. Lead us to the coast.
They told me you were his friend. You are the only one who can help him. You must do something. He's in the palace prison. What do you suppose anyone can do? Can't you understand? You are a woman. Think of my sister. She'll die, I tell you. Her baby will never be born. Three lives. And you aren't even interested. Do you want it to be four lives? Stupid fellow. He thinks all you have to do is walk into the palace and ask them to let Pythias go. It's ridiculous. Three days ago, at the war, we killed hundreds and hundreds of men with all their problems. Here in peace, I'm called to judge one man, one poor little man, with his poor little problem. Because he, a man, is not a man, he's an idea. He is protected by the law. And I am the law. You must have something pretty valuable to offer in exchange. I have, my lord. You must have hidden worth. Well, I'm not a religious man, my lord, and I doubt that you are. But your people have their superstitions. Now, the gods are supposed to be prepared to accept what's called sacrifice of substitution. So I offer you a daemon for a pity. Idiot! This means that we've got you both. Yes, yes, of course. It's interesting, however, as an example of this philosophy of theirs. So, all men are brothers. Hmm? Well, not mine, my lord. I, I like to feel I can pick and choose. I'd hate to think I came from the same litter as Carrizo. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> then, why have you done it? He's my friend. Ridiculous! No one does such a thing simply for a friend. You don't have any friends. But you can't really think that a vagabond like you is a fair exchange for an important political prisoner. In the eyes of the gods, I believe, insofar as they have any, a man is a substitute for a man. And in the eyes of your people, and they have plenty, certainly one man from Syracuse is worth ten from Athens. Well, the eyes of the gods may see you both die, but the people of Syracuse will hear very little about it, my friends. <laughs> they already know, my lord. By now, all Syracuse knows of the offer I've come to make you. I have very useful friends when it comes to spreading news. His friends are good for nothing. Thieves. Down and out, like himself. Yes. Yes. Women of the streets. Barbers. Public entertainers. People that talk to the people you'd better fear. Fear the scum of Syracuse? Take him away. No, no, Carissa. Break up this business. And... I'll come back and look into this. Lose your balance, sir. Upward. Thrust upward. Look, Father, look. Blood. Well done. How much of this has Kelly's ordered while I've been away? Two hours a day, my lord. Arms drill. Three hours. Horsemanship, and an hour's gymnastics. That really was a thrust, wasn't it, Hermion? Oh, Hermion, it really is deep. 
I didn't mean to. Get him seen too quickly, won't you? Come here, my boy. Leave your sword. Swords are well in the place. I want you to learn something else this morning. Now, I want you to stay quietly and watch how the situation you're going to see is handled. The Athenian, my lord. This man has offered himself as a, a sacrificial substitute for you. His life for yours in the name of the gods. Why are you doing this? It's what you would have done. I have accepted. No. You can't force me to accept. Yes, I can, as it happens. But I have a more interesting offer to make to you both. It seems that uh, your wife in Athens is dying. My wife is what? Demetrius is here. They think she'll die before the baby's born. So you see your choice will be between your friend's life, your offers you and your wife. But I told you, I have a more interesting idea. You go free. And Damon keeps your place here. I give you two months. At the sunset, two months from today, Damon dies in your stead. Unless on the day you're back. I'll be back. I'm anxious to test the power of this philosophy of brotherhood of yours. The whole of Syracuse will be told of the gamble that's been taken. Do you fully understand? Yes. I understand. Now be worthy of such a friend. Put him aboard a ship for Greece. And take him away. In heaven's name, my lord, do you want to turn the whole of your country over to their mad philosophy? No. You see, my son, their philosophy is dangerous, particularly dangerous, because it makes slaves brothers to their masters and soldiers brothers to their enemies. But Pythias won't come back, and Damon will die publicly, and their philosophy will be utterly discredited. But he will come back. He will. You don't know their mad fanaticism, my lord. He'll come back. I doubt it. I doubt it. But if by any chance he does, he will be stopped. You see? We have a lot to learn. Damon, you're not going to be a thief. You're going to be a perfect man like your father. A great man. Well, make the most of your time with him. At six, we'll start him in the Pythagorean schools. Shall we make an astronomer of him, Pythias? Look how he stares at the heavens. Let him cry for the moon at night, Nerissa. You can't start his interest too young. You're not going to make any sort of philosopher out of him. I'm going to bring him up to be a perfect fool like me. Aren't I, Damon? 
treason. At least we needn't watch the process. Goodbye. My little baby. How does she seem to you? Magically strong and well, but... I must leave her soon. Leave it as long as you can. As long as I dare. Pythias, this time you'll tell her. Yes, this time I must. What are you thinking lying there? What it would be like if I were lying on the ceiling, staring at the floor. It would make a difference, wouldn't it? You know, you might tell Carissa that I know Dionysius wants to keep me fattened up for the big day, but not with garbage like this. You think he'll come back, don't you? Well. Don't they in Syracuse? Funny thing. Quite a lot of them do. Well, uh, confidentially, what do you believe? Trust Pythias. tonight, tomorrow. Not one more hour. Always tomorrow you'll tell me what's troubling you. And every day I can see it troubles you worse. But oh, dear heart, can't you see how it troubles me too now? Once before you didn't trust me, remember? And that hurt me almost to death. I'm stronger than you think, Pythias, so long as I'm secure in your love. Darling, it's, well, it's, it's, it's Damon. Damon? Yes? Something about him haunts you. What is it? You had a message from him? No, it's, it's not a message. There's some feeling of guilt. Something you did that you were ashamed of. Oh, my darling, nothing you could have done could make me think less of you. It's, it's not something I've done. It's something I must do. Oh, I see. You must go back. Is that it? Yes. Yes, I must. How great is the danger, Pythias? Danger? The danger is great. Last time, you didn't dare tell me in case I should dissuade you. Well, I mustn't. Then I mustn't. I won't. I promise you. Only tell me why. You got Arcanos out. Why can you possibly need to go back again? For Damon. He's in danger. But you said he lived and thrived by it. He's in danger of death, Nerissa. You said you had no message from him. You mean he was in danger when you left? And that's your guilt. But, dearest, it's his country. It's because of me. Because you involved him in your mission. Oh, I see. He's caught. He's in prison. Yes. If I go back, he will be released. You see, it was I who was caught. He offered himself for me, my... Substitute before the gods, so that I could go free. 
Oh, Pythias. You were ill. Perhaps dying, they said. So I accepted. But if I don't go back on the appointed day, he'll die. Damon. Damon. I'm glad we called the boy Damon. Yes. You must go back. You... You see that I must? Of course you must. He staked his life on your word. But my darling, for how long? How long will they keep you in prison? Will they let me see you sometimes? I'll stay in Syracuse and bring the baby, of course. But every minute I don't see you is so long. So long. How long, Pythias? Don't you know how long? No. No. No! Are you mad? You said yourself that I must. To prison, yes, bad enough. But to die. Deliberately to go back to die. To be killed. Free and safe and young and happy to go back in cold blood to be butchered like an animal. Or let Damon die in my honor with him. I don't care for your honor. He shouldn't have done it. It's too much to ask of any man. If he hadn't have done it, I would have died already. Would you have lived, my darling? I'd rather have died than live through this. It's his own fault. He's playing the hero, thinking he's safe. Let him be a hero. Let him die. Darling, I've, I've said that to myself. Not only for your sake, but for mine, to my shame. Doc, you know that I must go. You know it. Your wife. My You seem surprised? I am. I, I expected her last week. And you call yourself a good wife. Well, I'll forgive you this time. shadows here. Damon, what if he doesn't come back? He will. In time, though. Now, did you come to talk of Pythias or to see me? But how can you say... Adriana, I think of you more than ever now. It's one of the few luxuries they allow me in a place like this. Have you thought what will happen to you if Pythias... There's no need to. He will come back. Now, enough of Pythias. No. Well, what kind of wife are you? I'm not your wife. Why not? from Athens. My name is Pythias. All right. You can go through.
Which way to the city? Straight ahead. Past the orange trees and to the right. Hey, Mr. And we didn't see him come to the surface. You then descended. Did you search the rocks, the beach? We saw no need. From that height, he must have been killed. He must have been killed? Stupid! We can't be sure unless we have his body. Search! And bring in the body of this Pythias. When the sun goes down, Damon will be executed. He won't be executed. A man has been drowned. You know anything about it? Drowned man? No. And you? This afternoon, as agreed. As agreed, this afternoon. the cheers of our loyal populace for its beloved leader. My Lord Dionysius, the fact is that we haven't got a loyal populace. And the one we've got doesn't love us much. They make it strikingly clear.
Too many of your subjects admire him. They even cried his death. But tomorrow they'll say he was a fool. Citizens of Syracuse, you see before you the pathetic dupe of a false philosophy from which, in my fatherly concern, I would protect you. It's almost the appointed hour. The sun sinks. But where is the follower of Pythagoras? He's safe in Greece and leaves his friend to die in his place. So much for the brotherhood of men. If Pythias is not here, it's because he's been stopped. Stopped by this father of his people. So if I die, I still have faith in my friend. Friendship. Such a simple emotion. Yet, the king who cannot rise above it can be destroyed. Responsibility. Finish the matter and return immediately. Thank you. 
Say last, Damon. Now you regret your bargain, do you not? No, I do not. Ready! <gasps> The law is the law, my son. For him as well as for us. I'm but your servant. As you wish, let them both live. <laughs> 